What's up, you guys? This is One Classic Gamer here. Welcome back to some more of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And in the last video, uh, we finished the map of the Trial of the Sword. So, yeah, um, that's the first part of this DLC. I've already shown you guys Hero Path mode. So, now what we're going to be doing is going after, like, doing all these extra side missions we have. Um, and I was thinking about starting off with the teleportation rumors before I actually start going for all of the the clothes and shit, so. Uh, South Akala Stable. Alright, where is that? Here it is. So we're gonna go to South Akala Stable, and that's where, um, the rumor of where it, it, where it is supposed to be, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, I was just getting water. All right. Hmm. Let's read this. Um, venture log. Rumor has it there's a tool that allows you to instantly travel to wherever you've placed it. Apparently, South Akala Stable has a copy of Super Rumor Mill. Okay. Let's. Oh, what am I doing? I was trying to do this. Oh, nice. Thanks, Druid's protection. Alright. So what, is there like a book nearby or something that'll tell me where it is? Wait, 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 right here, I think. Alright, read. Trazy here, no matter where I go, my love for rumors inevitably follows. Don't you make it a point to dig up rumors while traveling? In any case, today's topic of discussion is... The dream of teleportation. Apparently there was once an ancient medallion that could instantly teleport you to wherever you placed it. What's more, this wondrous item may still be somewhere out there, just waiting to be scooped up. I must say, it sounds like the perfect item for travelers, adventurers, and rumor loves lovers alike. I heard the treasure chest containing this tool is located beneath a labyrinth in, nor labyrinth in northeast Akala. It is true. Is it, is it true? Or just a beautiful dream. I'll let you decide that for yourself, dear reader. Trazy recommendation. Five stars. Or six stars. Wait, was that five stars? I'm not even paying attention. Okay, uh, I'm guessing he's talking about this labyrinth right here because there's only one labyrinth in the Akala area. So let's go and find it. Now, I will say right now, um, the, if you may be wondering, like, why the, these DLC videos have been longer than the usual videos in this playthrough because I'm just trying to I'm just playing this game and having as much fun as I can and I'm kind of lazy with the editing but at the same time it's like mm, there's enough like included in DLC pack one but enough not like what I'm trying to say is what am I trying to say oh let's get up here okay there's quite a bit included in DLC Pack 1, but it's not, like, enough to, like, make separate videos. Like, I, I could categorize it and do a video for for each thing, if that makes sense. Alright, he said beneath the labyrinth, so there's gotta be some area around here. Master Sword, bitch! Fully powered up! What? Alright. So I'm looking for some sort of, like, hole that will take me beneath the labyrinth. Burn it! There we go. Burn it! Hey, I think I found a secret passage. Secret passage! And... Oh, this just leads to a flame blade. That is really cool, though. Look at all the weapons I have, though. I don't really need it. I don't know. Let's... Uh... Well, let's just see how much damage it does. No, it's not as good as the, uh, the Royal Broadsword. Alright. I'm always gonna be using the Master Sword now, though. 
Okay, so this secret passage didn't seem to work. Okay, so I guess I will just cut to when I find this hidden passage that takes me beneath the labyrinth. Alright, yeah. Well, what I said, so. Yeah. Do I go underneath this? Did I make it? Holy shit, I think I just made it. Wow, why didn't I just jump down this to begin with? Okay, um... Is it in this chest right here? Oh, that's a diamond circlet. I don't think I really needed that. Oh god! Oh, shit. Ha ha! Bitches. Take that. Alright, what you want? What you want? Ah, oh, really? Do it! You know what? Uh, you want Ancient Arrow in the face, man? Okay, you're, you're getting Ancient Arrow in the face. Sorry! Die! Alright, well, I killed him. Get all the Ancient Materials that they dropped. These labyrinths are just so interesting. Like, they really intrigue me a lot. I think I see the chest over there, by the way. Uh, I, I, I know where it is. I, just, or I see the chest. I just want to get the supplies that these guys dropped. So, like, you just drop down here. I can't believe I didn't discover this area. Like, at all the other, like, at any other points when I was playing through this game. Alright, let's go open this chest. Is this it? Yeah, it's got that whole look of a DLC chest to it. <laughs> There's apparently uh, treasure chests that are on the Great Plateau as well in the DLC, so I don't know what those are going to include. Probably useless stuff, I don't know. And here we go, we got the travel medallion. This mysterious tool was made using forgotten ancient technology. Place it by opening your pouch and registering your current location as a travel gate. Okay, well, that's done. Now it's time to actually start uh, doing this stuff. All right, X Strange Mask Rumor. Uh, this one's in the Woodland Stable, so where is the Woodland Stable again? Woodland Stable's right here, I knew it. All right. Yes, yeah, so apparently you could Register your current area as a travel more point, so... Mm. I think what it does is, like, if you want to pick a point on the map, that specific point that you want to travel to, you could use it. Um, even though I've unlocked all 120... <coughs> Excuse me. Even though I've locked all, unlocked all 120 shrines, there are probably still points on the map where I could actually use it. Let me see. Um, uh, oh no, wait, you register your current location as a traveling point. Okay. Um, well, I don't know, I might use it later in this video. I'm gonna be trying to actually get all the, the rest of these side quests done in this video. And then I'll, you know, I'll see if, I don't know if, uh, What's it called? If these um these arm these new armor upgrades I'm getting are gonna actually need upgrades. So if they do, then that'll be in a separate video. I'm basically gonna do this, and then I'm gonna try out master trials in the next video. Wait, what, what am I doing? Hold up! No, no, no! I, I don't know why I'm talking to you. <laughs> okay, I'm high as fuck. Jesus! All right. Super Rumor Mill Extra Volume One. Tracy here, awake or asleep, my guess for juicy rumors never rests. Ever. Doesn't anyone got everyone gossip in their sleep? 
Uh, today I got a hot uh, rumor fresh from the mill that is, wait for it, an exclusive. And that special topic is the mysterious Korok mask. They say if you pour enough love into an object, a spirit will inhabit it. Something that creepy just just gotta be true. And apparently this Korok mask really is inhabited by a spirit. If you wear it, it supposedly shakes and makes adorable weird noises every now and then. Maybe it does that to tell you when your friends are nearby and you can't see them. Who knows? Some say the treasure chest containing this mask is hidden in a tree hollow in the forest that makes people lose their way. Um, so it's a tough place to find something. Luckily, word has it there's a convenient trick for finding your way. Tracy's recommendation. Okay. Uh, so I have to go to Korok Forest? Yeah, the forest. Ah, fuck, I don't want to go. I don't want to go in this forest, man. Tree Hollow. I'm trying to think. Where that, that might actually be. Uh... Oh no, Link, it's getting cold. Holy crap. All right, so I didn't I didn't actually think about this, but I I look I searched all around that area that I was I was looking, and I think what I'm actually gonna try and do is go in through the entrance of the the woods instead, and maybe I can find the uh, the mask coming in this way. I don't know, maybe like maybe I was just approaching that whole situation kind of wrong. I, I really don't know. So... Yeah, here we go. This is the entrance into the forest. Coming right up. And let's go in this way. And the way I remember... Oh, I almost fell. Holy crap. That was crazy. That would have been really dangerous. The way I remember... This is the entrance, right? The way I remember doing this is basically follow... I think you follow the torches. Yeah, because after I went through this my first time, I looked up how you're supposed to actually make it through the Lost Woods. And what you want to do is actually follow the torches and the direction, like, if you look at the direction they're blowing in, like the wind, it'll tell you which direction it basically headed. Fox! Raw meat. Alright, good. This one's blowing left, which means we go left. This one's going right, so we go right down to this torch right here, and uh, this one's going this way. All right, uh, let's wait. Where is this one at? Let me actually just pull Magnesis out just in case. Am I starting to get lost? I'm not sure if I'm starting to get lost or not. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I think I found it. I found it, yes! Alright, here we go. Korok mask, a mask inspired by those fun-loving Koroks. It shakes when one is hiding nearby. If sold, this rare find can, can't be replaced. Let me put that shit on. I want to see what that looks like. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's so hilarious. So this helps you find Koroks, but I don't even need this because I already know where... I've already collected all the Koroks, so yeah, that's unfortunate, but it's nice. Alright, Ancient Mask. Uh, let's check this out. Outpost Ruins. Where is Outpost Ruins? Uh, is that somewhere in Hyrule? Okay, here is the Outpost Ruins. Alright, here we go. I found them. I was searching the map for about two or three minutes there. Uh, oh yeah. Alright, Outpost Ruins. I don't know what this is. It says Ancient Mask. I'm assuming this might be uh, the Majora's Mask, if I'm not mistaken. I'm enjoying hunting the, these down, by the way. These are really fun. 
I mean, they're, they're kind of simple. They're not too bad, but they're, they're fun. So, yeah, I like that. All right, outpost, outpost, uh, outpost ruins are down this way, right? Yep. So I'm assuming down here. And what does the adventure log say? Uh, we're trying to collect the historic civic outfit, but we're still one by a bandit named Misko. Uh, which ancient mask? A journal that places the location is okay. Somewhere in the outpost ruins. So I can head there right now. Yep. It's a journal that includes the whereabouts of this map. Misko. I remember that butt munch. Oh, here we go, I found it. Was this book always here? First page. I hid the eight priceless relics I stole from Hyrule Castle in treasure chests. I shall write down the lower locations. The ancient mask lies at the ruins where soldiers gathered. From there, the waters of Lake Colomo are visible. The green garments of the man who wished to be a fairy are hidden in the ruins of Hyrule Field. Find these pictures, these pieces at the ruins where trade flourished. At the ruins where shinner, or, <laughs> sinners were imprisoned. And at the village, uh, let me see previous page again. The ancient mask lies at the ruins where soldiers gathered. From there, the waters of Lake Colomo are visible. Alright, well, let's. Um, village Lake Colomo. Right here is where it is. Let's put a marker right there. And what does it say again? Uh, alright. Alright. And then, okay, next, second page. Uh, let's check out... Uh, ancient, okay. Green garments of the man who wished to be a fairy are hidden in the ruins of Hyrule Field. Find these pieces at the ruins where trade flourished. At the ruins where sinners were imprisoned. And at the village ruins, next to farmland, many people once gathered. What is this? Okay, Price of Twilight. This is all the armor locations. Jesus, man. Well, wait, do I have a detail in here now? Ancient mask, fairy clothes. Yeah, okay. Well, let's go find the ancient mask first. Okay, so it updated all of them, thankfully. Ancient Mask. I'm assuming this is the Majora's Mask. How far away are we from this, by the way? That's a little bit of a ways. I'm gonna see if I can glide there. Good. Uh, I love me my master sword. Look at that shit. Look at that beautiful shit. Hey One hit kill, motherfucker. You die. Alright. This is apparently where the Ancient mask lies. In a treasure chest uh, in the ruins, Colomo Garrison ruins. Is it in the water?
Wait, 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 wait. I think I see it. Yep, here it is. Majora's Mask, an eerie mask passed down from ancient times. Wearing it makes it harder for certain enemies to spot you. Okay, that's what the Majora's Mask does. I like that. That's awesome. Let's equip it. Oh, it looks so cool. Okay, uh, let's see. Fairy clothes. Uh, green garments of the man. All right. In the ruins of Hyrule Field... The ruins where trade flourished. Okay, where, where could that be? Uh, bah, 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 bah. Exchange ruins. This seems like it could be it. Let's go there. Man, that Majora's Mask looks so freaking cool! Look at it! With the glowing eyes. I'm assuming this this right here is gonna be the tingle outfit. Oh, it's so creepy too, man. But I love it. Uh, if only all this stuff was included with the DLC when this game came out, or included when this game with this game when it came out. I, I believe what what really happened is this game's been in development for a long time, so I believe that people just were rushing Nintendo to get this game out. So therefore, they didn't have time to add this in uh, before the game's re major release. So they decided to just release it as is, and then, um, you know, stuff. Alright, is this the chest? I think so, right? No, it doesn't look like the chest. It's a purple rupee, which is actually pretty great. I mean, I don't need rupees right now, so... Uh, there's another chest right here. It might actually be over there. I think I see it. Uh, right here. Yep! Jingle's Hood. There was once a man who claimed to be the very reincarnation of a fairy. He treasured this hood, and so will you. Cooling pa if sold this rare okay. What does that look like? Yeah. I'm not wearing that, though. Fuck that. Okay. Okay, good. Tell you, man, I really like wearing uh, this um, this Majora's mask. It actually looks pretty sick. Okay, Castle Town Prison. I think this is where it is. The the second piece of Tingle outfit. I went to a yeah, I went to a completely different you know ruins, but like a dumbass. But I think this is actually where it is. So... I don't even care how many arrows I'm using. Alright, is this it? Yes! That's it! Look at all the ancient cores, man! Jesus! Tingle shirt! Alright! Alright, let's go and find out where the second piece is. Alright, so... Third piece is apparently near... In the village ruins next to farmland where many people once gathered. Now, I'm assuming that... I've already took a look at the map. I'm assuming that's over here. So... Let's go there. I'm gonna, gonna warp the central tower to get there. And this is the last piece of the Tingle outfit. Oh, 
Oh my god, it's right here. Really? It's been here the whole time? Okay. Tingle tights. Alright, well that completes the tingle outfit. Uh, let's... Let's try it on. I mean, what the hell? Let's just see. Uh, armor. <laughs> Night speed up. Oh my god, he looks so awesome, so hilarious! <laughs> let's wear this with this. Alright, uh, let's see. What do we have left? Uh, Twilight Relic and Phantasma. Let's go for the Twilight Relic first. The Princess of Twilight, whose stories are handed down alongside those of the Hero of Twilight. Her helmet can be found at the Temple Ruins, soaked in the waters of Regencia River. The Temple Ruins, Regencia Water... I have no idea where that is, so I'm going to have to start searching. Regencia River, okay. Right here, what, what did it say again? Uh, soaked in the waters, okay, it's it's in the Regencia River around here, so let's go over there. <laughs> Link looks so hilarious. Mmm. Are there any more details about it? Uh, Soaked River... At the Temple Ruins. Okay. Sage Temple Ruins. I should be here right now, actually. Okay, let's keep going up. <coughs> I don't know why I skipped over that detail. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to skip towards tonight. So therefore, um... Because I get night speed up with the tingle outfit. We'll wait till night. Got to wearing the entire jingle outfit. There we go. Night speed up. Look how fast Link is running. Holy crap. Oh, that is so awesome. Man, I love that. You'll never catch me alive, coppers! Haha. Uh -huh. See, his normal running speed is like how fast he'd be if you were dashing in the regular outfit. Alright. Let us find this. Sage Temple Ruins. I think I've already found it, actually. Nope, that's a rusty shield. Oh my god, here it is. I think I found it. Ah, uh, oh, dude. Is that it? Yes, it is. Midna's helmet. A helmet much like the one Midna wore when she fought alongside the hero Twilight. If sold, like it's Garden Resist. Guardian Resist. I get rid of that. That's complete. Now we have basically one more. That is so cool. And his hair changes too. Wow, I love that. Alright, one more. And that is the... Uh, fa fa uh, spirit tracks stuff. Alright. Armor where my fairest, okay. At the battleground where brave soul. Okay, Hyrule Field. The battleground where brave souls tested their skill. Ceremonial grounds. 
at the battleground where brave soldiers tested their skill, okay? Um... Oh, Colosseum. Okay, it might be in the Colosseum, actually. Let's go there first. Whoa! Ooh, I know. You're gone. Lino. Ooh, I think I found it. Is this it? Yep. Phantom helmet. Attack up. Myths abound about armored phantoms that terrorize brave heroes. This helmet looks just like the ones they supposedly wore. That is so cool. Um... Alright. Ceremonial grounds where royal guards are honored. Could that actually be the, um... Sacred ground? Ruins? It might be. You know what? I'm gonna go there. Check that out. Uh, let's go this way. These chests, some of these are actually pretty well hidden. I'll give the game that, so... I really gotta look for these. Assuming that this this is actually around here. Wait, wait, I see that. Oh, found that one. Phantom armor. All right, and it's, the other one said, um, "Where the soldiers are gathered." That actually might be the garrison. I think. Because I, I saw it right here. Yeah, Hyrule Garrison Ruins. This is where we're going to go for this. So, going back to the Central Tower. Here we go. Wait a second. Oh, I think I found it. Uh, yes, I found it. Uh, Phantom Greaves. And that's it. Those are all the additional side quests. And now we have the Phantom Armor. That looks so sick. Look at that. Look how badass I look. Man, all this new stuff is just awesome. Alright, let's go back to what I had before. Alright, I'm actually going to go to... Um, Kakariko Village to see if I can upgrade any of this stuff. I don't know if I if I can or not. We'll see. Alright, we're here at the ferry location. I actually don't think there are any chests over at Great Plateau. I think it's just when they when they mentioned that in the beginning, when I just booted up the game. It's probably the ones that I've already gotten, like the Nintendo shirt and all that. Alright, let's see if I can upgrade any of this stuff. And if I can, well then, in the next video you'll see me upgrading it. Alright. Alright, what's this? You don't have a... Okay, I guess I can't. Let's take a look anyway. Um... Yeah. It doesn't look like... I can't enhance any of this stuff. Wait. What? Oh yeah, I just picked up that diamond circlet uh, in the labyrinth. I was gonna say, I was like, I actually don't need this, so let me get rid of it. Because I already have one of these. I don't need that. Really, man. Well, I know somewhere I could actually sell that. So, yeah. I'm actually going to end off the video for now. So, uh, that's all the armor upgrades and pretty much most of DLC Pack 1. All we have left to just try out is the Master Trials. So, that'll probably just be like one hour, two hour long video around there. I don't know. Where I just try out Master Trials. I'm not going to play through the entire game on Master Trials. But I'm definitely going to try it out and give it a go. So, 
yeah, um, if you guys enjoy this, please comment and subscribe, and next time I'll be showing the Master Trials. So yeah, I'll see you guys then. Peace.